Matt Damian Williams. <laughs> Matt Damian. Anyhow, <laughs> welcome back. You can find us on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We also have a website. You can find that at www.theffdynasty.com. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell icon so you get a notification after you subscribe and, and click that little thumbs up button. Just Help, to, uh, helps us out. Help people helping people. Much appreciated. So we're going to get into some Damian Williams here. Um, what you should do with him kind of moving forward. Matt so, Damian Williams. So he's got an ADP currently in January of DLF of 76. Um, I look at it. This is kind of like you could either kind of take the risk um, or take no risk and maybe not necessarily be rewarded outside of what you can get for him right now. But I think if you're on the other end of this thing and you're buying Damian Williams, you may have to overpay a little bit right now. But it's not going to be anything like if the Chiefs go through the draft and don't draft a running back at least, you know, in the top four rounds or so. Like, yeah, sure, they could draft somebody in the fifth, sixth, seventh round or undrafted Philip Lindsay kind of deal. And maybe he's great. Maybe it just ends up being a split time. But if they make it through the draft and don't draft anybody, what you paid for him right now is going to be a drop in the bucket to what he's going to be costing you. And do I like Damian Williams as a player? Yeah, sure. He's looked fine on the field with the Chiefs. I like what I want is the Chiefs starting running back is what I'm looking for. And he's clearly shown that he's competent enough and good enough to excel in that role. Um, So that's what I'm looking for. And I'm usually I think me and Big Co would be the guys who were like, eh, I'm not I don't want to take necessarily the risk and I'll sell this asset off and get my, you know, maybe you can get a first round pick or something like that for him. And I'll take that because I got him for nothing. It's a value spike and I'm selling this guy off. Yes, um, five weeks ago he was on your waiver wire. Sure, and now he's a first round pick. You right, easily trade this guy and get a first round pick. Sure, but the the only thing that you're missing there is that we're trying to get the Chiefs running back, and that's a highly coveted asset on everything that's going on in fantasy football. You want the Chiefs starting running back, and I'm um, I'm willing to take the risk on that rather than what we would normally do and say, hey take your profit because you picked this guy up off the waiver wire. He was buried on the bottom of your bench for years, maybe from when he was a dolphin. You just kind of kept him around because you have a deep bench. It would have been a huge bench for him to still be uh, on the way on, on somebody's roster. So I'm, I'm in, you know, if, if you wanted my one ten, one nine, you know, one eight or something like that, I would take that risk. Cause I, number one, I don't know what I'm getting at one, eight nine ten it's nice the first round ring to it but you don't know what you're getting number one um and number two like even if they do draft somebody there's not a huge chance that they're just gonna take over the backfield and be the guy you'll at least be able to use damian williams and it won't be a total loss in my opinion you know kareem hunt doesn't happen uh year in year out and spencer ware was injured kind of moving into that kareem hunt territory which kind of gave him yeah, we never did see Kareem uh, Spencer Ware get a shot at Damian Williams' role. Right, he was hurt, so Damian Williams came in and took. Uh, you said, I mean, you said look fine. He's looked fantastic. Um, he looked th- really good. At it this comes last back game. to comes back to really any warm body. The Chiefs running back. That's who we want. And there was a there's there's been actually there's been a ton of volume in our in our community page on Patreon about Damian Williams lately. And I just and I basically spelled out exactly what Casey said in one of my responses to um, the question was just that. And then I'll take it further here was, you know, because he said, hey, I just won a championship. And what do I do? I have Damian Williams and I got offered a first rounder for him. What do I need to do? And I said, basically, just need to know if you did you win the championship because Damian Williams came to life and scored 50 points in two weeks or are you a good team? Because in Dynasty, it really helps to know if you're a playoff team and if you won the championship, are you really a championship team or did you just get lucky for two weeks? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you made the playoffs and obviously you made he he had won the championship. So I was like, maybe you're not a player away. Maybe you got a a great team and you can then you go and your fork in the road is okay. Do you no matter what your team state is right now, you take Damian Williams plus what gets me Zeke. Is how I play this Go game. With that again. No matter what, that's what you want. Maybe you know Damian Williams plus what gets me one of those top top first round draft pick guys. But otherwise, first round startup. 
draft first round st- dra- startup draft pick guys but otherwise i play it just the same way casey's saying here i always would like to take this first round pick for somebody that was a waiver wire player five weeks ago but just like he said anybody that's on the chiefs running back but anybody's playing running back for the chiefs is worth way more than any first round pick you could get furthermore if they do take somebody or bring in a, a player off a of free agency because they got the you know they got holes everywhere, so I don't see them paying any really good running back. But these days, you can get a good running back off free agency and pay a minimal. Even if they bring somebody in, it, at the worst, you're playing the waiting game with Damian Williams for somebody to get hurt, and he's already played. There's no way he's not at least the RB two. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Like the, even even if they do that, and let's say they didn't draft somebody and they bring somebody in, like there's I don't think there's they paid him for two years. They got him there for cheap. They like what they saw from him. So I don't I don't think there's a a huge. Uh, chance of just some guy coming in and being the complete number one guy. Like if they feel like they need to bring somebody else, it's gonna probably gonna be a a split of some sort. I think some. I think I, I agree. I completely agree. I think them bringing somebody in that's a name value worthy of being over him on the depth chart right away is an underdog here. I don't think that's likely to happen either. But they could draft somebody in the third round that we thought sure. would get drafted in the second round and create this controversy on Damian Williams. But then you're just holding him and waiting him out because a He's been so good, he could either outplay him in the preseason and take over the first back role, or B, we saw, I mean, it, it you, you, you know how quickly running backs can get hurt, and Damian Williams came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, he's a starter, and he played well enough to get the contract. Yeah, he wasn't even beating that. Spencer Ware, when, when that first start, Spencer Ware was the guy for the first exactly. go-round, and he had to get So hurt. there's no guarantee on Damian Williams, but it's likely that he gets at least – enough of a share of the running back role to be there. And it may take four weeks for somebody to get hurt for him to get back in the position he's in now. But when he's there, it's gold. I mean, do you you even think, I mean, do you think we're going to take a chance on that kind of guy? You think, they're, you think they're going to take a chance on somebody else? Have they seen enough from Damian Williams? What's what's your <coughs> well, that, initial? I think I'm sorry to cut. Let me finish, say this, and I'll get out of Jay Wayne's <laughs> way me off before I even start. He was <laughs> clearing <laughs> clearing that throat up. He was Jay Wayne was ready. I, I, it's the same thing the Browns got Carlos Hyde for cheap off of free agency before they went into the draft. Like it's the same thing Latavius Murray was signed to the Vikings two years ago before they drafted Dalvin Cook because mm-hmm. they got him cheap. Like the Damian Williams is on the Chiefs. He was a cast off, and now the Chiefs want to give him a couple more bucks to stick around for a couple years, and he gets to play with Patrick Just Mahomes. Cheap and, insurance and, and, to know and that win you got games. A guy. Hell yeah. It's good for the Chiefs and good for Damian Williams, but I don't think it's job security for it's job security. It's not number one back security. It's not like they gave him thirteen million guaranteed but, for but, the next year. But you're okay saying that I'm willing to take the risk on him though. Absolutely I'll take yes, me too. I if, Well, I'm asking you. I already said I was. I would take yes. Just I'll, after what you just I'll give I'll give you a first round pick for Damian Williams too, because it's the Chiefs running back and he's definitely gonna be on the team and that's worth more than somebody I don't know about at the end of the first round. Yeah. I think that's a fair statement, and and it, my initial reaction was that I would probably be down to move Damian Williams if I could turn him into a first round pick, just based on picking him up off the waiver wire in week freaking thirteen or yes. whatever it was, yes. and flipping that for a first round pick. Now, all that being said, I, I, reviewing some of the stuff, thinking about it over the last few days, because I knew we were going to talk about him. I th- I think I'm on the same page with you guys. I think I'd be willing to take that chance. Um, it's not like they. They did give him $5 million for two years, so it's like a decent amount of money for the little bit of games that he did show that he could that he could carry the load. It's I think cheap. he's basically auditioning for them right now to, to be the main guy next year, and he's knocking it out of the park. I mean, yep. you watch him recently, and he looks good. The vision looks to be there. He's, he's running with some power. He's catching the ball really well. The hands look pretty dang good, if not borderline really good. And so, and it's the easiest job since the Steelers running back situation. And so I think it's yeah. worth taking the risk. I That's mean, a good point. Spencer Ware is not on contract for next year. Um, I do think that they probably will bring in somebody else. Um, it looks no, like they're the Chiefs, they have to just to fill up a room. Right. Yeah. Um, they do have, they have their first round pick. They have two second round picks, a third round pick, and then a conditional fourth round pick, which they may or may not have. I, I don't think that they would spend the top, you know, they got th- they got four picks in the top three rounds. I, I don't think they would take a running back in that spot. And, and if, if he dodges all three of those days, then you're feeling really good about him. But not knowing a ton about this year's class, like we're, we're, we're deep into looking at the running backs and I'm probably maybe eight deep right now that I could, 
that I feel comfortable about at least knowing stuff about and, and developing my opinions on them. I don't know what I'm getting at the end of that first round. I've seen what Damian Williams can do on the field. I, I'm down to give that late first yeah. to get Damian Williams. It's if the Chiefs are comfortable with that and if they want to roll the dice on the you know the right. third, the he's third rounder. I think he's or auditioning right else. now to be the dude next year. Yeah, I mean, once Spencer like Damian Williams made me money in DFS last week. As soon as there was no Spencer Ware in the game plan and he was you know not active, I went and changed my entire roster around and was able to put. Better guys in my roster because Damian Williams was one of the cheaper backs last week, and I just I've like there's no way I'm not playing right. him if he's out there because right. he's just it's e- it's an easy like you said it's an easy job. There's there's dump downs to be had there. There's running lanes to be had there. Kareem Hunt he's not Kareem Hunt, but I mean he's playing really well. Yeah. So. The last thing for me there is if your team if you did pick up Damian Williams a month ago and your team is just really bad, but you got Damian Williams. I'd be interested in seeing what I could get for him. Like, I, I know you can get a first next year, no problem. Like, well, first and what? That way, at least you know you're playing it smart enough to cash out and take any gamble out of it. But I think well, the way Casey paints it up going into the offseason, it's a minimal gamble based on uh, there's no chance he's not at least the second right. guy up. And if he does, it, it would, if I can't see them, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if they made a move in the second or third round, but we, it, because Andy Reid's wild like that. He's like, yeah. he just may, add strength on strength. My offense is great. Give me another good running back. Let's go. But Damian Williams has looked so uh, good. Andy Reid knows he wants a, a running back to do what he needs to do exactly. on his team. I mean, I'm not saying that I wouldn't sell Damian Williams for a running back that I know is really good and has has a really good opportunity and situation in front of him as well. I would definitely do that as well. I'm just saying like – to go buy Damian Williams, I don't. I think it's lower risk right now, and it's not going to cost you a ton. You might you might strike out a little bit, but well, here's here's the thing that you said was gold. If you give a first round pick for Damian Williams right now, and they go through the off season, and Damian Williams a top running back on that depth chart, yeah, dude, you're talking about second round startup pick. Nobody's going to pay it this year. But what if he holds on to the job? I guarantee you, if Damian Williams makes it through the year as a top running back for the Chiefs next year, the following year he's in the top twenty-four of a startup. Mm-hmm. There's no chance he's not. He is about to be twenty-seven. Doesn't matter. But you're right. I mean, and it's only a two-year deal. But if he's if if he wins Andy Reid's heart, he's a second-round pick this time next year. Yeah, or you know, even if he just gets up into that third, even fourth round. I right. Mean, if he's out there as Chiefs running back, he's yeah. gonna crush. Okay. Yeah, so I would, I, yeah, would I be, am I buy, Am I going out and buy, like you said, am I going out and spending this first round pick on him if, I, if my team's not great and I don't think that I have a chance, you know, next year, to, this was my missing piece here? No, but right. I, th- I think this is a good guy. Exactly. Part of what I just said had a big if in it. Right. Yeah, if, if that happens, it's going to be a huge p- payoff for your first round pick. So if you're... If you're if you're on the bottom of the barrel there, I don't think I'd make this move. But if you're a top team, I would definitely go for it. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to end today's show with somewhat of it's not crazy breaking news, but there's a little bit of news about something that happened in the NFL. The Steelers hired NC State's um, running back coach or assistant uh, Eddie Faulkner as their running back coach, um, which connecting the dots a little bit there we've been talking about some Jalen Samuels and, and Connor and we talked a little bit about maybe what that backfield looks like for a second we're going to do more of that on Patreon um, but this is potentially a, a big deal because this is a guy who coached Samuels all through uh, college here he had 202 receptions throughout his college career I believe um, I don't have the stat in front of me but obviously old 38 for the Steelers got some run at the end of last year, Jalen Samuels and Connor was great and was really solid all through the year. But if, if that never happens and you never get to see Jalen Samuels, this is a non-issue moving forward. But now there's some dots being kind of connected. This Eddie Faulkner's coming over. This is a guy who used uh, Samuels to, uh, you know, the best of his ability. Right. This so is, this is strong right now. Here. You could be having this, you know, a little bit of a, Maybe it's not 50-50, but even if it's 60-40 or 65-45 or something, you know, something along those lines moving forward with Jalen Samuels and and um, 
Connor. Connor. You, you got a, a little bit of an issue for a guy who James Connor is at, you know, ADP 18 right now. Right, 18. And that's not a move that we've seen out of the Steelers. Not, you know, it's been one running back. Basically, whoever, right. they, whoever they're trotting out there is out there almost every play for like five years now. So that's how we're, we're going to continue to this dive into Patreon here. Go to our website at, at the FF Dynasty, the FF Dynasty.com. Middle of the page over to the right, there's the button that you clicks you on Patreon. You can also give, go to patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Um, $5 holla. There's actually a, our last week's Patreon show is up there for free. You can just press play. It's not hidden or anything. All the other posts, if it's a Patreon member only post, it's, uh, it's locked to the public. And once you sign up, you'll have access to all those backlogs, all the community page, which just a tons of tons of trade questions and theory questions. And we're, we're up in there chatting a bunch. So definitely get over there. Check it out. After six months, you get a free T-shirt. Uh, it's just a good time. Extra extra show every week. And uh, yeah, we say it's five dollars and there's no commitment like you sign up for one month, five bucks. And if you don't like it, you can roll out. But, you know, just taking the time to sign up and and getting on the platform will take you a few minutes and then when you get done with that it's all a good time from there absolutely uh, hit us up on twitter at the ff dynasty if you're listening on itunes please give us that five star review that would be very kind if you're listening to this on youtube go hit subscribe hit the notification button so you get notified anytime we post something and thumbs up the video for us that'd be mighty kind of you uh till next time you've been listening to the ff dynasties married to the game <laughs>